And that 15 year old skateboarder was in a bicycle lane when they were hit. There have been a few different incidents in the last few months where pedestrians have been intentionally targeted by drivers. The big question here in Gig Harbor, is this another incident? It would be hard to believe that the driver couldn't notice that he had hit someone. Friday morning, a 15-year-old trying to get to school, instead gets sent to the hospital. He suffered a concussion and some abrasions. Police documents I obtained say the child was skateboarding in this bike lane when a man described as older and driving a newer Mercedes black SUV hit the teen. We just know that the vehicle didn't stay at the scene. The speed limit on this road is 30 miles per hour, but neighbors tell me that doesn't do much. People just fly down the street. I've seen, I don't know how many wrecks since we've been here. But those are usually accidents. Police believe what happened on Friday might not have been. It was either a, a very negligent act or an intentional act. Chief Kelly Busey with the Gig Harbor Police Department tells me the driver would have had to jump several lanes to hit the 15-year-old. And investigators already know after the crash, the driver chose to keep going. Police records say the victim even heard the car accelerating. Unfortunately, Western Washington has seen a string of incidents where drivers use their cars to intentionally run over people. In Seattle, police arrested two teenagers for a series of targeted hit and runs back in November. And last September, Pierce County Sheriff searched for the driver they say hit and killed a bicyclist, possibly on purpose. Gig Harbor police tell me they hope they're not dealing with a similar situation. A 15 year old was injured and we want to hold those responsible accountable for that. Matt Hanna, there are no pictures, there are no videos of the driver that police say went after this teenager. That's why they're asking for the community's help. They're saying make sure to check your surveillance cameras to see if you captured anything. If you did, reach out to the Gig Harbor police. We have information on how to do that on fox13seattle.com. Reporting live in Gig Harbor, I'm AJ Janivel, Fox 13 News.